In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Moment of truth. <laughs> we, I'll show you what we did. We're pretty nervous. <laughs> we are very nervous. So we outlined, I put this, I put this back in the camper yes. and I outlined the cabinet that it's going to sit on, which is going to be right here. And then we had to determine how far over it could be. And we decided it needs to be about, about like this. because we have a really small area over here that could definitely be weakened once we make the cut. Mm -hmm. And in fact, carrying this is gonna be challenging, not having it break. So It'll this be a lot lighter. At least, yeah, this should give <laughs> us at least one full board and part of another that's not cut. So, we're ready to trace, I think. We're content with where this is positioned. Yeah. Well, I'm almost screwed up because it's got to be beyond that line. Yeah. So it needs to be back. Go back a little bit further. So it's not where we thought it was on this. Yes. Got less room now. One and a half inches, so. Like that three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch. This part I can redo, but I'd rather not. come in three-eighths of an inch but if I do that you know, we're saying we want to have so that's three-eighths of an inch right there but you're saying we can cut further in yeah or further no this further way? in further that way no further in so that makes a smaller hole, which we can always open up the hole. Correct. So go a half inch. And yes. That's, so that's another eighth of an inch. Yeah, right there, perfect. Hopefully. We're improvising here. that three more times and we'll see you in a minute. I'm scared. Wish us luck. We're about to do it. We're going to put a hole in this. A very big hole. Not going to lie. I think this is one of the scariest things I've done. Maybe right. not scary, nerve wracking. Ready? $220 right here. Oh my gosh. Done.
Oh, I'm freaking out. You're freaking out. You should be freaking out if I like put my hand like. Stop. That's what I'd freak out about. Don't do that. All right, so jigsaw. Fits oh. In the Definitely harder than it's the plywood. It's definitely not as easy as the plywood, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm gonna break in some blades. Is it even going through? Yeah. Oh. Have we? Yeah, it's going through. It's just barely. Yeah. Wow. It's a thick, monstrous piece of wood. So what had happened was skill saw wasn't so skilled. And as we were cutting from the other side, it was going at a little bit of an angle. We noticed there were some sparks, which is user, user error. And so we had a little jagged line going on over here. Thankfully, it's in our margin of error. Margin of error. Yeah, that will be covered up by And that. the sink is still gonna cover it up because I was literally hyperventilating. Yeah, because Lindsay does that. She freaks out over dumb stuff. <laughs> so there's always a way to fix it. And that's what we did. We stopped. We looked at it and we decided we'll draw out the outline because we put our four holes based on what we sketched out on the other side. So we know that this is going to be the outline that we need to cut. And we're just going to cut from the top down instead of from the bottom up. Should have been doing this all along because I can see even in here yep. we're a little bit in. But I'd rather be in this line yep. than out the line over here. So what we're going to do is cut this out, and if it fits, even with that narrower cut, then great. We'll run with it. But if we have to bring it back a little bit, then we'll have to do that. It'll be a little more challenging. I'll use a skill saw at that point, or the, uh, yeah, the skill saw. What did I call this? I don't know. I call this it's a, a jigsaw. Saw. This is the jigsaw. You did call it a skill saw. All right, so i got to make this line... Mm. Yep, you gotta put that home. And it will eventually. It's got to. Except that it started to turn there. Yeah. having to go back along that line closer but for now that's done and now we'll come back this way good yeah. already wow We've blown through two batteries, two and a half batteries. I was hoping to like, you know, record it and then it'd be like, boom, done. No, didn't happen. This might have enough oomph to get us through. <laughs> yeah, and this is, this tape, this countertop's a beast. Now you see why we weren't anxious to do it. This is not easy. Close. I think we can 
Man, this is chewing everything up. Okay. Wait, let me test it before. Yes, that one spot. Yep. Done. Ready? It's like taking the lid off a pumpkin. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my gosh. What a pain in the rear. Yeah, that nasty cut. What a pain in the rear. <clears throat> See how wow. I want to trim that up for sure. Yep. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, we uh, really did a number on this thing. It's not pretty. Yeah, but this part doesn't have to be pretty. And that's why we got a drop in sink. <laughs> not an yeah, undermount. The, ba the bathroom one was super easy. Could you imagine if it were an undermount sink? I don't even know what that is. Moment of truth. Backwards. No, this is how we. Lindsay, Shut are you up. kidding? Shut up! Are you kidding, Shut Lindsay? up! Shut up! Turn it around! Oh my gosh. Well, the sink fits. Alright, which side's. You got it right. Put your hand. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just too small. For the things that get in. Yeah, just see if that came off. So you might need to take the skill saw. Yeah. So along this edge here to fit back in. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work because. That's so far off. How is it going to grab anything? Well, we get this along there and pull it back because it's not on the lip over here. It needs to come back. Okay. So I don't touch the so back. So if we cut this off. Yeah, I don't touch the back. Okay. Don't touch the back. Here, let me. I mean the front. Don't touch the front. You're, You're supposed, supposed to be in the pool. You're supposed to be in the pool, buddy. All right. Don't cut here. All right, I'm going to turn this off. You want to say anything? Cut. So we're going to trim that yep. and then we're going to leave trim that. this side because that's the prettier side. This side's the one that's jacked up? Yeah. See that fits nice and flush on there. So we're going to trim. Chris was. Oh my goodness. Here. Really? Someday somebody's gonna own this camper and they're gonna take everything apart and be like, oh look, he said don't cut here. Chris was here. So I was using the circular saw and it won't go through. I can only lower it to an inch and a half. So it won't go through the whole way and it was just jamming up. And what I did was I was able to outline where I needed to cut in detail. And then I went to my handy dandy oscillating saw. Love this. Multi-tool. Multi-tool. It is amazing. I think it's my favorite right now other than just a standard screw gun. Um, but it's pretty awesome. And it's helping us get through and I can really fine-tune trim like this is what the circular saw did because it couldn't get all the way through mm -hmm. But then I can just come through and I'll be able to clean that up in fact <laughs> All right, I think we finally got this cut out where we like it yeah we didn't go 
We didn't go with the 3 8 inch, and I'm <laughs> glad we didn't because when we were off here and off there, it could have been catastrophic. Yeah. We definitely, we were more conservative on cutting too little because then we were able to take the circular saw and go in and just trim the edges. And the circular saw looks fantastic compared to the jigsaw. So not that we wouldn't use a jigsaw in the future, but I wouldn't use a jigsaw in the future. I might just uh, use a circular saw and get it in there and then run with it. What? Don't this, laugh. This thing's pointless now. Ah! Yeah. But I can it's add, not pointless. It's holding the drawers up. It's holding the drawers up. What I'll do is I'll add a board across there. Yeah. I'll screw yeah. it in there. Screw it in there. So, this is what it's going to look like. Mm. I'm going to go grab the sink. It needs to come what's, towards me. What's going on? There it goes. Oh man, did we really do that? Wow. Did we make this? No, I'm just Look. glad it hides. There's a tiny little scuff there. You can put some stain on it. I'm gonna sand it down. Okay, whatever. I don't care. You can take care of it. It's not that big a deal. The fact that this sits yep. in there and that we've got this pretty much set up where I hoped it would be. I think it's freaking awesome. Yep. So, oh, we didn't even talk about the problem, did we? What problem? That we couldn't clip it in, otherwise we'd be done. Oh, yeah. Lindsay's gonna make another trip to Lowe's because the clips that Ikea gave us- Are not they're long like, enough. They're like not even a quarter inch, like an eighth of an inch too short. So we're gonna, hopefully Lowe's will have a longer one if not, we will come up with a contraption of our own because really it's not that difficult. We just need something to clip into the sink and then have tension that comes back on the on here. The other ones that we had actually, I threw them away, but you actually drilled into the underside. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to do that, but there, there'll be a solution. I'm not worried about it. It's just more time, a couple extra dollars. But we'll uh, obviously when we go back and we do this right, We'll have it flipped over. We'll have the seal underneath here, so it'll be nice and snug. Put the silicone underneath there. We'll have the clips that'll clamp it all together. And then we will bring this whole thing in and flip it over and put it in place. So this is why I wanted to make sure that the pipes and everything were the way they needed to be. Yeah, throw that sink in there. The sink. Throw the faucet in there. These now should hopefully go. <laughs> they don't fit. They should fit one at a time. Well, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to take the thread off. Nope. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. Oh, uh, it's because the shark bites are on. That's why. I'm like it fit before. <laughs> There's a, a party going on. so nice. Doesn't that look nice? So pretty. Fancy! Yeah! And oh, look at this beautiful sink. We still need to have little arms because we have to crawl under there and tighten this up. And then snap those shark bites into place on the water pipes. But yeah, it's... It looks really good. Yep. It's been a labor of love. 
Next. Next. <laughs> I want a beer. <laughs> this Almost. Took, this took all freaking long day. Yeah, all day. Or was it a little long day? All the long day. That song when you're a kid. All the freaking long day. <laughs> That's how it should have been. This is the RV remodel that never ends. Yeah. It just goes on and on, my friend. I love it. I love it. I walk in it, it makes me heavy. Don't be fooled. Nothing's secure here, nothing's permanent. <laughs> But it looks nice, mm -hmm. and that's the first step. And it looks really good. It looks really good. Yep. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. A very, very long day. And you need to go eat. Nine or ten hour day, and I need to go eat. I don't even think I need lunch. I did. I had chips. I had snacks. Sun chips. Mm. I fed the dogs, I eat dinner. Lunch of champions. <laughs> Some chips. I'm gonna go take a shower because I stink. I'm covered in sawdust. I was gonna jump in the pool with the dogs. The pool is really cold right now, but Fine. I was gonna jump in there. I don't know that I will. Maybe I will. No, no it's, it's too, late. too late. It's 7.30 at night. So I'm not gonna go do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and say good night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of our journey. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, leave us a positive comment about something you enjoyed in this video about how pretty Lindsay is right now and that smile on her face. Cause she wasn't smiling a whole lot today. No, not when we were cutting that countertop. <laughs> thanks More like cringing. Thanks for being a part of our experience in life and hopefully we're inspiring you, encouraging you, providing some kind of information to help you get out on the road and do what we're doing. We're doing it better. Thanks again and we will see you when we see you. You will see us when you see us. Bye Felicia.